Happy Friday. Uh, I just want to quickly say I usually like to record in the morning because the light through this window is better and now it's the afternoon and it's full sun so I've pulled down the shade and so I have this like dappled light through the shade so I just wanted to name that because I'm feeling a little self-conscious that you know I look a little funny but oh well um, but it's the dappled the dappled sunlight coming through the, the shade. There is a lot going on at Chalice suddenly and uh, if you're like me even a little bit going on right now feels like a little overwhelming so I'm wanting to use this time to orient us a little bit. Uh, in terms of our church life, the most important thing you can do in the next couple of days is to get on the auction website and do some bidding. Uh, the auction ends Sunday at 5, so um, this is an important fundraiser for us. There's lots of fun things in there. Um, there's lots of jewelry and art this year. There are some outings. Um, so t give yourself some time to look that over and, uh, you know, bid on, uh, bid on something or other and help support the congregation. You can also just make a donation. Um, I did a little of both. I both, I, I contributed some things to the auction, but I don't, didn't do as many things as I, uh, have done in previous years. There's no chocolate party this year because I'm going to be on sabbatical. Uh, starting in the summer, so I wasn't sure I could fit in a chocolate party. So I donated some money instead of the money I would have spent hosting the party. So just an idea. And you can also, you don't, uh, there's a, some kind of opportunity drawing, so that's a, a place to donate money to. Then, as I've emailed it out, uh, there's, we're returning to in-person worship on Sunday and streaming. Uh, it's very limited seating because of we're going to be masked and distanced, and so our small chapel is going to continue to uh, be a challenge, and we're concerned about air circulation in that small space. So um, uh, I guess I'm sort of assuming that when we put out the link uh, this evening that there will be a flurry to sign up. Maybe there won't. Uh, as, as we said in our email, um, the safest way to uh, attend worship is still by staying at home. COVID numbers are still high. The case rate is high. A lot of community spread still. Um, so, you know, and we don't, we aren't going to have live music until later in the month, the final Sunday of the month. So we're just going to be like baby stepping our way back into, um, you know, doing some more things in person. So if you want to attend on Sunday and it, I don't know, if it signs up quickly and you don't get it, um, uh, you know, hang in there. Also shoot me an email if that happens. It's good, it will be good for us to know how many more people wanted to come who couldn't. Um, you know, we will, uh, once we're starting to get back in the groove of things, start to think about two services. So will help us to know how many people are wanting to come back. Uh, and also if it's, if it's a little bit of a rush every week for people to sign up, then, you know, we might take turns with who gets the sign up first. So there's some equitability in the sign up. So who knows? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's not to plan too far ahead. And then later in the month, uh, March 27th, we hope to have a spirit booster gathering uh, like we had in December. So a time on a Sunday afternoon, two to four, to gather together, especially since Sunday morning needs to stay uh, pretty small. Uh, this is a chance for a, a bigger group to get together. And uh, we'll have, if, if we're able to have that, so the first thing we're going to send out next week will be signups for helping to set up and helping to clean up. So we need to make sure we have enough volunteers for the event to happen. Uh, and then once those signups are filled, then we'll send out signups for bringing um, finger foods and we'll go ahead and plan from there. So, um, so put that on your calendar. Uh, and and pray for good weather because that's a we really want to take advantage of our courtyard space. Uh, but last in December, if you were able to come, it was very uh, it was a spirit booster. It was very encouraging. And if we do have it, one of the things we want to have during that time is a new member ceremony for we have four new members 
Uh, <laughs> some of them joined a couple of years ago, just at the start of the pandemic, but, but we haven't been able to have a new member ceremony. So we thought we'd have it on March 27th when a bigger group of people could come together. Uh, we can be in the chapel if we need to be because we aren't going to sing. Uh, um, or if we sing, we'll come back out onto the courtyard so we, we have a little more space. So uh, lots of things to look forward to. Even if you're not comfortable coming to worship, you might consider coming to the Spirit Booster. You can keep your mask on and be outside on the courtyard. Uh, we will have spaces designated for people to keep their masks on and then the space near the hub for people to eat so they can take their masks off. Um, so we're making that as safe as possible for so as many people as possible can come. Full vaccination is not required to come to the Spirit Booster. Um, we will ask people to wear stickers about how comfortable they feel being close to people or not. So I hope it feels good to have things to look forward to. That's To me, that's part of the fun of the auction is looking forward to events, looking forward to seeing if I won, the things I bid on. Um, and I know a lot, I've, as I've talked to a lot of you, you know, sort of the feeling of, uh, it's been hard, not just the two, past two years, which we know have been hard, but January and February have been hard for a lot of different reasons. And a big one is that, you know, Omicron came and reminded us that the pandemic isn't over. So, um, you know, let's be glad right now that the numbers are trending down and let's um, let's stay safe and do what we can to enjoy ourselves um, while the risks of the pandemic are lower. So I look forward to being with you on Sunday, those of you who are online, those of you who are in person, and blessings and love to each of you.